Hello, um, my name is Flickshot, and I'm going to throw together this little video just for all the new people in the server uh, who are having some issues installing the Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod Battlefront Halation. Um, there's been some old videos out there that are outdated, um, and they're put together pretty well with nice editing and everything, but this is just going to be a, a quick walkthrough that I'm going to do today. Uh, showing you how to install the latest version 3.0. All right. So, first things first. Uh, if you haven't joined the Discord, uh, go ahead and join our Discord. It should be linked on the ModDB page. It's uh, this server right here. It's got a few channels. These latest links we need to update, um, but all the commands work just fine. So. Uh, first thing when you want to get into the server, if you've never modded Star Wars Battlefront 2 before, you're going to want this file here. You're going to want to type exclamation point remaster, um, and it's going to pull up this link right here. You're going to want to go ahead and click that, and it'll take you to the ModDB page. Again, this is if you've never modded the game before, if you have a fresh copy of the DVD version or the Steam version. Um, you're going to want to do this first. Uh, if you already have modded the game and it's ready for new mods, um, I'll let you know whenever you can uh, just download and play the, play the game. So here, you're just going to want to download this. Um, it's an executable file. You're just going to run it. It should install itself. <clears throat> Once it's finished installing, um, you want to make sure that it's set to your Star Wars Battlefront 2 directory. Uh, so obviously here's the game data folder for my game. And since this is the remaster, it is going to add this folder here called add-on. And this is going to be where all your mods are going to go. So right now there should be two files um, in this folder. You're going to have the remaster folder here. <coughs> And then you should have this patch folder here. Uh, it's going to be AAA 1.3 patch or 1.4 or something like that. Mine's a little bit older. But you're going to have these two folders here. And basically, what, what this installation does is allows the game uh, to read and run mods. So as you can see, I only have one mod here. It's the Halo mod. Um, but these two files here in Anakin's Remastered allows us to uh, mod the game and play it. So once you have this installed, you can install all sorts of other mods. Next thing you're going to want to do is if you type uh, exclamation mark shader in the Discord, uh, it'll pull up this link. And this link here is going to take you to a GitHub page. And there's four different files here, but we only need one of them. We're going to look at this shaderpatch.zip file. <clears throat> You're going to want to download this uh, simply just by clicking on it. Don't worry about the shader patch tools or the source code. Those are for us modders to use. <clears throat> uh, so once you click on this, um, it's a zip folder. You're going to want to extract it. And then um, inside that folder, there's actually a readme, a text file. And you can open that text file, and it'll take you through uh, a step-by-step -step process of installing it. Or there's also an executable file <clears throat> in this folder here that you can just double-click and run, and it'll install itself to your game. As you can see here, I've already got it installed. Um, it's just called Shader Patch, and what it does, it allows us to mod the game with better graphics than what the original uh, game's engine was able to perform. <laughs> and so, once you have this installed, you can open up the settings. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you're typically going to want 100% for your screen, because you want it full screen, full resolution, um, scale the UI to the same resolution as your computer. You can read through all of these. None of these are, are critical to um, our mod or, or running a mod. This is just kind of personal preference here of what you like. But 
but those are the settings. <clears throat> I think there's also a, a text folder that you can load and edit the settings. Yeah, you can install them. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, or you can edit uh, the config file. So just make sure you always read the readmes inside these, but you're going to want to install this as well. So right here, shaderpatch.zip, you're going to want to install that for the mod. And then lastly, you can head over to our mod DB page, um, get version 3.0 here. Download it. It is a 7z file, so you're going to want to extract that to just a normal folder. And you are going to simply copy and paste wherever you extracted it from into this add-on folder here. Like I said earlier, this is where all your mods are going to go. And you're just going to paste it right in here with the other two folders. Um, and then I like to double click and make sure that underneath this one HLO folder, it goes right into the, the data and scripts. Um, it's got to be in this order. Sometimes, you know, you'll double click on this folder and then there's, there's another HLO folder. So you just want to kind of merge those two together, but it shouldn't be that difficult. Um, but yeah, once you install all those uh, files, you should be fine to play the game. If you want to install other mods, all, that, all you'd have to do is visit their mod DB page, download them, extract them, and put them right here in your add-on folder unless of course it's a uh, more intricate mod and you need to read the instructions for that but yeah with the with this release of the mod i know there's been a couple issues um about let's see what we've got in here <clears throat> about the space battles and uh and them crashing so with the space battles um we really pushed the limits of the graphics and so, well, even a little too much, I want to say. So whenever you're loading up the game and playing the game, uh, you just want to have that one map in your, uh, in your queue. So if you have a pretty hefty PC and you think you can handle the graphics, just load up that one space map you want to play for that round um, and then give it a try. If it works, great, have fun. If it doesn't work, you know, I'm sorry. It's it's even hit or miss on my computer. I've got a pretty uh, pretty beefy computer, and it's it still crashes for me sometimes too. Um, and then multiplayer wise, um, multiplayer we didn't we didn't optimize this for multiplayer. Um, I think just the very the various instances um, that we've included in the game are not meant to happen on multiplayer like um armor the armor lock ability and um i think the plasma launcher and the grunts um sort of dropping grenades when they die a lot of that was kind of coded in um through our modders and so it, it doesn't work with multiplayer so i apologize but we can't make multiplayer uh, possible with this version of the mod if you, if you really want to play multiplayer you can always just head on to our downloads um, and try out one of these older versions uh, I don't think I've had any issues with people complaining about multiplayer not working on these older versions um, <clears throat> but yeah the, the space assault maps are very heavy it's a hit or miss on if they keep crashing mid game it happens a lot um the weapon icons if they're floating um i think i saw something earlier in this installation issues um <clears throat> let's see i think anime anakin's remaster this this one here this should fix the the floating icon issues. But yeah, see here, this folder, this data file, uh, this shouldn't be there. So this this guy's is having some issues installing it, but this data folder is not supposed to be in there. So it's just little fixes like that. It's it's a really finicky game. It requires everything to be 
um, just in, in all the right places and everything. So, but yeah, I hope this helped. Um, if you have any more questions, just throw a message out in the Discord. I'll, I'll usually set up streams uh, while I'm playing the game and then helping people out um, with their installation issues. But yeah, I hope this was uh, helpful for you and uh, happy playing.